Okay, for this tutorial, we need a couple of things. We need our images. That's the most important thing. So I've got the background over here, and then I've got these three other ones. I've got birds, I've got a plane, and I've got this missus. And we're going to need these for the tutorial. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to effects and then drag the fusion composition onto the timeline, select it and then go to fusion. And inside the fusion tab, we only have the media out, but we're going to change that because what we want to do right now is drag in all these individual layers. Now, before we get all confused, what is what I'm going to rename them one by one and drag them in one by one as well. And once I've done that, it's time for the next step, which is adding in image plane 3Ds, a merge 3D, a renderer 3D and a camera 3D. Let's start with the image plane 3D and let's search it by clicking shift spacebar image 3d there we go i'm going to add it and rather than uh oh what has happened it's got connected already but i don't want that so i'm going to hold shift i'm going to drag this and now the line is gone right uh we need a couple more because we've got four images i want four of these as well so Control c Control v three more times and then it automatically created a merge 3d now if your lines are different you can go to the right mouse button go to options and then change this to direct pipes because this is probably what you see or change it to orthogonal pipes whatever you prefer I like to prefer this one because that's very neat on the grid. Right, let's move on to the next part, which is selecting the Merge 3D and adding the Renderer node. Let's add it in. And then that one needs to be connected to the Media Out. There you go. So now we see Media Out. If you don't see it, make sure this little button right here is selected. It's highlighted. So we've got our image over here. Then I want to click in here so we don't have anything selected. I'm going to click Shift Spacebar again. It's a lot of clicking, I know. But we're going to find the camera 3D. This will only work if you have the studio version, of course. So if you already made it this far into the tutorial and you don't have the studio version, then I'm sorry. I'll see you back when you do right let's move on and now that we've got the camera 3d what we need to do is we need to add them to all four of these so one two three four and then once we've done that we can connect all of these layers i'm going to move this up so it's much easier to see there you go i'm going to drag this to the image plane the woman to the second one first to the third one and then the plane to the fourth and final one and once all of these are connected you want to actually see what you're doing and we don't see anything over here but that's because we haven't selected the left option and now we do so we've got everything at the same layer so we need to select the camera 3d and we need to make sure that we're on the first frame of this clip and then we're going to drag it out till we see the image appearing and it fits the screen Perfect, like this. And I also want a little bit more space to work with. So I'm going to click down the media pool and now we only see these windows over here. So the left one is basically what's happening here and then the right one is the final output. And then now it's time to make this come alive. All right, and then with the woman selected, let's drag her inwards to make her bigger and make sure you're on the first frame again and let's scale her down so that she fits the image like so. And I'm going to do the same thing for the birds and for the plane. So the birds, I'm going to drag them in go to the transform and scale them back till they are very very tiny and the same thing for the plane and then it's time to make the magic happen so we're going to select the camera 3d because now we are going to make it move we go to the transform we're going to select the keyframe for the y the z for the x and then we're going to move forward to let's say 40 frames in this case and then i'm going to move the camera inwards a little bit and i want it to go upwards and right now if you play this back we see the birds and the plane being static which looks like absolute crap so we're going to change that as well i'm going to select the plane from the birds i'm going to change the x so i'm going back to the first frame i'm going to move the birds to the right there we go click and select a keyframe i'm going to do the same thing for the plane i'm going to move that the other way here we go set a keyframe and then we go to frame 40 where we end i'm going to bring in the plane again till right around here and i'm going to bring in the birds again till right around here so let's go back to the first frame let's go to the edit tab let's click p for full screen and let's play this and you see that the image now is being animated 